It's beyond repair, I told you. At least the water damage was contained. I guess we should be thanking you, Nicole. Apologies for dragging you in here, but I thought you'd want to know. Nicole and Tracy have filled me in. Right, well, it goes without saying that all the appropriate steps will be taken. It's a very regrettable situation. Is Myra in the loop? I haven't managed to get a hold of her yet. She's working down on medical. Ah. Well, I'll go track her down. We need to put together a damage control plan. Let's say my office, 10 minutes. Sure. Don't worry, I've taken care of everything. What have you done? Simply put a slightly different angle on the truth. Call it a sprinkler accident. What? I set it off. As far as Rachel's concerned, that's what killed Helga. Don't worry, she doesn't suspect a thing. You are unbelievable. Do you realise the damage you might have done? I can't believe you'd go along with this. She didn't. It was kind of an ambush, but it is totally brilliant, don't you think? Look, just don't stress about it. I will go to Rachel and take the blame just as we planned. No! You don't deserve to get the sack over this. That thing was a menace. And you should be sticking by your partner. Rachel is expecting me. I have to go. What are you going to tell her? I have no idea. Right above Helga. Wow. Well, at first I thought Helga had been deliberately put out of action. Wouldn't have surprised me. The nurses are still so anti. Feelings have been running very high. But I'm sure no one lost it to that extent that they destroy an expensive piece of... You'd hope not. I'm just glad Nicole and Tracy were there to deal with the faulty sprinkler. The last thing we needed was a flood on top of everything else. Nicole, what's she doing here? Waiting to give you all of time, as I understood. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> my brain, I'm knackered. Right, next order of business. I've taken on board your complaints and hopefully have a solution. Scotty has agreed to return as nursing manager. Assuming you have no objections. None from me, I am delighted. Excellent. Well, I take it the rosters have to be redone now that Helga has been incapacitated, as Tracy so aptly put it. Though I doubt you'll meet much resistance from the nurses. Scotty? I'm happy to help reject the rosters. I know it's a big job. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. Still up? Oh, I didn't want to miss you. Have you eaten? Yeah, I grabbed something on the way. Oh, it's not the same as food made with love. Takeaways are for people without girlfriends at home. <laughs> How was your night? Good. I, I called into work to give you a ride home, but then I got caught up in all the chaos. Yeah, Helga. Good nightmare. Oh, it's sprinkler. How random is that? Pretty random when it's only Helga that's affected. Yeah. Some would call it a modern day miracle. Hell of a mess to clean up, though, hence the lack of ride home. Okay. Only you don't seem okay with it. Are you mad at me or something? Of course not. I'm just disappointed that I missed you. Well, the upshot of that is I got time to run your bath, so you should jump right in. Sounds good. Go on. Scoot. <laughs> For someone who's on voluntary stand-down, we're seeing an awful lot of you. I just wanted to, you know, touch base about stuff. You mean, find out whether I've blabbed? No, I haven't yet. To be honest, I have no idea what to do. Oh, don't feel guilty about that stupid machine. I won't let you. I'm feeling guilty about Scotty. He's gutted I lied, and I don't think he's going to forgive me. He will. You went in our bedroom last night. It's hardly the crime of the century, is it? For the sake of everyone's sanity, some lies need to be told. And when everything's back to normal and everyone's happy, Scotty will understand. I don't think we're talking about the same Scotty. Oh, you're off shopping today. Absolutely. Show sure sale of the century. I'm just passing through. It's all right. I got a... I'm only buying one pair of boots, though. I promised myself, so I should have money left over to buy my gorgeous girlfriend lunch. That sounds nice. Where do you have in mind? Here? Wow. You're all class. I'm on unpaid leave. Where's the compromise? I'm after Tracy. <laughs> you just missed her. Oh, well, if you see her before I do, tell her the insurance company are here. They need a description of what happened last night. Well, why don't I go and find her? I should probably be in the interview, so it makes sense. Please yourself. What about your boots? 
think gaining brownie points here is a bit more important, don't you? And you're being so paranoid. Because on top of vandalism, I've now committed insurance fraud. And the only way you'll get caught is if you lose your nerve. Or what, Scotty Blabs? Which he won't. So relax, block the whole thing from your mind and carry on. How'd it go? It was pretty straightforward. I should get back to it. You two being KG, what's going on? Oh, you could hardly blame me, could you? Tracy is pretty cute. Hey, I was thinking, why don't I bring lunch in for us instead? There's this cute little dally I've been wanting to try for ages. Nicole, you know you love me. Back to work. Shoot. I hope you're behaving, Nurse Miller. Were you listening in? Me? Of course not. Mine's stressed about Helga, that's all. Helga? You're celebrating this cheaper thing's cut. What is it with you people? That machine was designed specifically to help you. Towards nervous breakdowns towards hospital where machines are more important than people. If that's the case, you should be extremely proud. I don't like the idea of mum living on her own. When does she get back from Christchurch? Early next week. Well, she should come stay at our place. Be around family. She'll drive you mad. She won't. If on rock, say, Trace. Absolutely. Anyway, she shouldn't be cooped up on her own, so I'm grieving. I better ask Tanya first, anyway. If I rang her now, I knew exactly what she'd say. Let the old bag move in for a bit. <laughs> That's two gods. Good anima. Thank you. No worries. Hey. <laughs> Anyone heard any uh, rumours about Helga? Rumours? Why she blew up? Ask Nicole and Tracy. They were there. The sprinkler went off. Yeah, that's what I heard. The uh, sprinkler just happened to leak in one spot, right above the mainframe thingy. Yeah, we looked up and there was a bit of a leak and then a fizz and a bit of steam and all of a sudden there was water everywhere. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Hey, I gotta earn some money, pay the bills. Ciao. Ciao. See ya. Big emergency. Did you do it? Helga. Don't go there. What were you thinking? What do you think I was thinking? That machine was running you and everyone else ragged. Anyway, Tracy had already dumped a bucket into it. I just had to wriggle it to make it look like an accident. It was already dead, and yes, I was covering Tracy's butt. For an ex-cop, she's pretty useless at covering her tracks. Nicole! Oh, don't Nicole me. We had a deal. Don't ask, don't tell, okay? They know. Rachel and the insurance company and everyone. And they're not going to pay the insurance, so the hospital is out of $25,000. Exactly. Well, no one can prove anything. So if we just keep our mouths shut, then that's an end to it. Rachel, have a look about it. She knows. She may think it. She doesn't know. Not unless someone tells her. And why would we do that? First up, I know everything. And second, we have a problem. Insurance isn't going to pay for the repair on Helga. They know it was deliberately damaged. I think there's only one way to prevent this becoming a police issue, and that's to front up to Rachel. That's a guaranteed way to make it a police issue. I don't like this any more than you do, but if we're honest, we may be able to find a way through it. Rachel will hang us out to dry. Not if we don't tell her. I think that might no longer be an option. She's pretty much guessed already. Rachel won't get the police and she won't want the publicity. Unless the only way to get insurance is by seeking compensation from the offenders. Well, I guess we'll just have to find out. Tracy? Sorry. Yeah, I think we should just take off, go on the run. We can live in the forest and steal food and clothes from farmhouses. It's an option. That way, when we finally get caught in a huge blaze of publicity, we can sell exclusive rights to the story and pay off the fines. Come on. Enter. Yes. We are here to tell you about the damage to Helga. I know about the damage. It's sorted. Thank you. We did it. I mean, I did it. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I poured a bucket of water on the thing. No, it was a faulty sprinkler. That was me. I was trying to make it look like an accident. It's terrifying to think that if I ever get ill, a couple of geniuses like you will be looking after me. Close the door on your way out, please. I don't get it. We just confessed. No, 
you didn't. Furthermore, this meeting never happened. And if you have a single functional brain cell in those heads of yours, you will nod and smile and never mention this to anyone. Friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, strangers. Am I completely understood? You bailed, I knew it. Typical. Keep your hair on, Harriet. We met with her all right. Except she told us to say we had never met with her and that Helga blowing up was an accident and that it's all sorted. True. If I ever hear another word about this from anyone outside this circle, I will see these two crucified. And if either of you so much as scratch hospital equipment, I'll have you sacked. And the police waiting when security throw you out that door. That's you, Tom. I better get back to it. All's well that ends well. Except like Rachel said, if you do anything like this again, once the police have finished with you, I'll be waiting to finish the job.